Guys, how's it going? I think I might have jumped ahead before um, I started recording, but anyway, it's the 24th of, of January. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this month. This month has gone so fast already. So it's the 24th of January, and we have our um, our Australia uh, anniversary on Friday, the 25th. So that's time and a half for us. <laughs> but anyway, but yes, yeah, so it's Thursday today, so I thought I'd just come in, uh, have a quick coffee, quick coffee and a quick ciggy. So I just got home basically from work, um, hanging out for coffee, hanging out for smoke. So yeah. It's not gonna be a long video, guys, so. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm coming for a coffee and a smoke. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I went back to work. I started back at work last week and uh, oh my God, <laughs> after having such a long break, a long holiday, a long holiday break, and um, trying to get back into swing, into the swing of work, work. So, but yeah, I'm glad I'm back at work. So, pick up the pace. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the pace. Got bills to pay. But yeah. Um, so yeah, it's our Australia anniversary on Friday. So, uh, yeah. And the weather here is just absolutely beautiful today. Beautiful day today, people. Oh, I was dying for that. I was dying for a ciggy and I was dying for a, a coffee. So I just got home a little bit ago. So, yeah. Anyway, nothing much to say, really. Um, life is good. Work is good. And yeah, you just gotta learn to say, to punch through the negative part of life, which I normally do. Which I normally do. Um, yeah, but I gotta tell you, I haven't spoken to my, well, I haven't really video called any of my family back in New Zealand, but they rang me on the weekend. I had two sisters that had rung me on the weekend which I haven't spoken to for maybe even close to a year. But um, they rang me on the weekend. And the good news about that, from one of my sisters, she had quit smoking, guys. She's quit smoking, so. And um, whereas before that, we always used to video call each other. Um, and this particular sister, well, it's always a guarantee. She's like me, she likes my coffee. She likes her coffee and her smoke too, so. And each time that we're on video, you can always guarantee that she's gonna light up a ciggy and have a coffee. Which I found really weird when I was spoken to her on the weekend. Um, so I was waiting for her to light up a cig cigarette. And, and then I waited for about five minutes, thought, you know, she was just like mucking around and stuff. And then I says to her, I says, well, you haven't done up with smoke. And she goes, I quit. She had quit smoking for over a year and a bit now. And this sister is, she's never given up smoking whatsoever. In fact, all my sisters, they all smoke. All my brothers, they all smoked as well. Um, but this sister had not given up smoking. I had, my other sisters, like, they had quit smoking a lot, good old couple of years ago, but this sister in particular, um, yeah, she, I was really, really quite surprised. I mean, the difference in their health is just so, so different now um, to where it was before. Each time we used to video each other, she had a voice like mine. A smoker's voice. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, 
and because she's way older than me. I'm the youngest out of all my family. And um, she's, her health had been like, you know, hasn't been the best for her. Um, she also had an open heart surgery a couple of years ago. And um, now to see her give up this shit, to give this shit up, <laughs> it's just amazing. It really has inspired me to seriously give it up, give this crap up. But I says to her, being a smoker all these years, I says to her, how the hell did she do it? I asked her, I said, how did you quit the smoking? And then apparently, because she did go with the tobacco, and then she went over to vaping. And then she just says to me that she woke up one morning, didn't feel like vaping, and then the days just went by, the weeks went by, the months went by, and she just says she just didn't feel like smoking. So there's hope for me, people. There's hope for me to give up this crap as well. So she's really inspired me to really think seriously about my health because when she was smoking, she always used to have a husky voice just like mine, always trying to catch, catch a breath here and there. Um, her health, her, her voice, her whole health has just changed dramatically. She looks so healthy, she sounds so healthy, and I was just, just listening to her and that's really made me, made me seriously thinking of giving up this shit. I don't know when, maybe this year sometime, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully I might be able to give these things away in order, <laughs> in order to keep my, well, maybe, you know, stick around a little bit longer in life. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was really good news. Um, I'm also due to have another grandchild in the next three or four weeks, I think. They got a baby agenda reveal coming up in two weeks. So, um, this is my son's, my son's first child. Um, so yeah, that's going to be happening in a couple of weeks so we're going to find out whether they're going to have a boy or a girl so that's something to look forward to and um yeah but anyway people i'm going to cut this video short i don't want to I'm, I'm running out of space on my phone so i just thought i'd come in for a quick smoke and cigarette with you and say hello so anyway um i'm bugged <laughs> i'm going in for a shower get this horrible uniform off and uh yeah so if you like this video you know what to do give me a like don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video so uh be kind be humble share the love and uh yeah adios amigos see you people